What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Poppy for a Blaster, aka Rope God. Rope God. Rope God. Yeah. And today I'm coming at y'all with an epic breath session. Pfft, hey, it's going down, man. So keep it locked. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wavy. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wavy. So wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wavy. So, I'm so, I'm so. All right, YouTube. Hey, I want everybody. Hey. If you haven't breastfed with me before, if you have not breastfed with me before, do me a favor and breast with me right now. I, if you can't do it, if you are working something you're real busy, then okay, that's cool. But if you're just chilling and you just you got time to put in this work right now, because that's what we all know that that's that's how you get your waves, man. You get your waves from brushing a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I just woke up today and I felt like saying like I just feel like doing this video for y'all like let me just get an epic breast session in for them you know what I mean like I want y'all to brush with me though because we got a good relationship you know shout out to all my subscribers you know what I'm saying yeah Team PB man where y'all at Team PB where y'all at comment below now anyways man let's get into this session I'm about to go in with this uh first I'm going in with this royalty brush right here this right here is a it's a medium salt brush. Man, these are my, my, my favorite royalty brushes on like a fresh cut. Cause I still consider my hair as being a fresh cut. Um, it's only about three weeks later. So I don't really have a lot, a lot of hair on my head. So I still like using medium salt brushes. So I'm going in with this one. So, so far right now on this length of my hair length, this is my favorite one, this one. And also this one right here, this royalty brush right here. It's the softy. Man, I love this one. I'm going to finish it off with this one. So I'm using these two brushes, then I'm a plastic bag, and then I'm a rag up. So y'all just keep it locked, man, and brush with me. Let's go. Team PV, where y'all at? Let's go. Mac. Pump up the volume. All right, first off, you want to start off with a harder brush, and then you want to work your way down to using the softy. So that's why I'm using this one right here. And like I said, my hair not that long, so this one right here is a medium soft. So I'm gonna use this one first, followed by the softy brush. I always start off in the back of my head when I brush. I start off from the back, go all the way around until it meets back to the back. So let's go, pick up the brushes, let's brush. Let's brush, y'all. Let's get it. Let's 
Pick up those brushes, man. Team PB, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Let's get it. Brush with me. See, with waves though, it's, it's, it's consistency, man, you know? With waves, you gotta stay consistent with this thing, man. If you wanna, if you wanna progress, you gotta stay consistent with your brushing. You gotta wolf all the time. You have to wolf every time, all throughout the year, even in the summer. Y'all saw me, I was wolfing in the summer. And come on, I live in California, and y'all know it's hot out here. And I'm still wolfing. That's just because I got a passion for this. And I know I have to get my waves just like right now. My waves are really good, but am I stopping? No. Did I cut my hair yet? Like, did I scalp yet or anything? No. I will eventually, but I feel like I'm not done yet. Like, I know my waves are good, but I feel like I'm not done with this pattern. Like, I'm not finna do that yet until I become flawless. Always got room for progress. You did. No, no, we brushing. We brushing, man. Shout out to everybody who brushing with me right now. Big shout out to y'all for brushing with your boy, man. And if you brushing with me, comment below what brush you brushing with. If you're brushing with me, comment below. Let me know what you was brushing with. Right now, come on. As y'all see, I'm working my way all the way around, from the back, all the way around. But like I always say, man, to become an elite waiver, it's not really hard. It's not really hard. I mean, it is hard, but at the same time, it's not hard because it all depends if you if you want to become elite and if you lazy or not. If you lazy, then it's hard. But if you're not a lazy person and you put in that work, then it's then it's not gonna be hard. If you're busy, if you're a real busy person, then also it's gonna be a little bit hard because you gotta work. You gotta make time for your sessions. You're not gonna become a lead if you're not brushing a lot. You know what I mean? You have to brush a lot. Like you gotta really go in to become a lead, you know? Like these waves didn't come on their own. Like we brush a lot, a lot, a lot, you know? Like I wake up, brush. Shit, sometimes I brush my, <laughs> Sometimes I brush my hair before I brush my teeth. It's just because I'm so used to brushing my hair all the time. This is this is a lifestyle for me, you know? This part of my life right here, you know? This is part of my life. It, that's why I hate when people say it's just hair. Okay, it might just be just hair to, for you, but not for me, you know? I really does this wave stuff, man. That's why I enjoy helping you guys out. I enjoy making these videos for y'all. I enjoy you guys learning. I enjoy editing my videos. I enjoy doing this hard work for you guys. You know? 
And best believe it's hard work. It's not easy. I'm talking about as far as like, you know, the editing and everything else. You have to invest into to A1 cameras, good quality camera, you know. A lot of people don't have quality like this. Y'all see this quality. This quality is A1. It all, it all comes for y'all. It's all for y'all, man. Good quality. Nobody want to see a video that's being done from their phone. Yeah, it might be 1080p, but it's not good quality like this. You know? So I have to invest into this. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a lot of work. That it's a lot of hard work that we have to do, us YouTubers, you know? And uh, that's just for YouTube. Imagine for the waves. You know, it go hand in hand. You got to have your waves looking nice. You feel me? So, I appreciate y'all for, you know, watching my videos and really, like, you know, doing the methods and everything that I do because it's a lot of hard work. Yeah, brush with me, man. I'm about to be done with this brush. I'm about to be done with this brush, y'all. Y'all hear that, though? Y'all hear that look? That's when you know you're going in when you hear that. It sound like a rake, like you're raking the grass. Yeah. I love that sound. All right. All right, so now that I'm done with this brush right here, I use my hands right here. I use my diamonds that I call them, diamonds. Feel me, diamonds. I use these to like. It's just a habit, I guess. I guess to like lay them loose hairs that's up that was sticking up from brushing with the harder brush to lay them down fast. Now we're about to go on with this brush right here. This is the Softy Royalty brush. We're about to go on with this right now, so let's go. Pick up your other brush. Pick up your next brush in the session. And that arsenal, pick it up, let's go. I'm doing the same thing, just with a different brush, that's it. Same thing with the soft brush, getting it ready to lay down. Getting ready to plastic bag after this, and we gonna rag it up. Quick session. Quick epic session though. The reason why I call it an epic session is because I'm brushing with y'all and y'all brushing with me. We brushing together, so it's epic to me. You feel me? Brushing with my subscribers, that's for show sure epic. <laughs> That's epic, boy. I ain't doing no speed ups or nothing. We going, we doing this like it's a live session. We ain't doing no speed ups or nothing. We just brushing. We brushing together. It's all motivation, that's all it is. It's all motivation, y'all. Every video I do, I try to motivate you guys to push harder, to brush more. Because at the end of the day, that's all it is, is just brushing. And your products, it makes your hair, it gives your hair more of a, a shine and makes your hair more defined or whatever. The products, but it's all all really brushing pretty much products ain't gonna give you waves products don't give you waves products enhance the waves it gives it makes it look nice and it give it gives it the, the nutrients that it needs which is which is good too but at the end of the day if you just put a product in your hair and you ain't brushing a lot you ain't gonna see good results trust me because products don't give you waves brushing gives you waves
You know what I'm talking about? Brushing gives you waves. Facts. Alright, we almost done though. We almost done, baby. We almost done, baby. Alright, let me get this left side. Let me get this left side cracking. Yeah. And if you guys don't know angles for the 360 pattern, 360 wave pattern, it's another way too, because I'm not speeding it up or anything. I'm showing you guys how I brush. This is these are the angles I hit to achieve these perfect 360 waves. So yeah, you guys should just, you know, if you gotta watch the video again or whatever, rewind it or whatever you gotta do to find out that the, the perfect, you know, angles for your pattern, <coughs> for your 360 wave pattern, excuse me. Cause the angles is key. It's key to connections. If you know your angles before you start your pattern, you will bypass getting forks and all that. You will still get forks, but you will have less forks than what you normally have if you didn't know your your um, your wave pattern angles, the angles to your wave pattern. So it's important to know your angles for your pattern. So if you got 360 waves, this is the this is the way to brush. All right, these are the angles I use. Your angles might be slightly different being that you probably have a bigger head or a smaller head than mine, but for the most part, these are the angles. But we about to be done with this session. We about to be done with this, man. Shit, man, you gotta have that plastic bag in your arsenal. I'm telling you, it's a must. It, it helps everything. Plastic bag helps lay down that frizz. It helps train your hair more because you laying no, your hair down. Y'all already know, trained hair is laid down hair, and laid down hair defines. It makes it gives that defined look to your waves. So put out that plastic bag. Always use that plastic bag before you rag up. Alright. Pull that plastic bag out. Brush the same way, I mean plastic bag the same way you brush, the same direction. Same angles. Everything the same. So normally after a plastic bag, what I do is I rag up. You guys know how I double compress. I'm double compressing now too, by the way. So I'm using my stock, my, my do rag, my do rag, and two stocking caps. If you guys never saw how I double compress, I'll leave that in the description box below. I'll leave that video how I double compress so you guys can see the correct way to do it. But that's pretty much it, y'all. I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you all for brushing with me and got this session in with me, man. It's epic, man. I appreciate y'all. Hey, man. I got a lot of things coming up. I'm telling you, I got a lot of things planned for you guys, man. Subscribe now if you're new tuning in. Thanks. Yeah, man. I'm about to rag these things up.
Y'all stay wavy. Cause I'm, I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Salute. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so wavy.